subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. It's another fun garage sale day, headed back to the upscale neighborhood using my rain check. They posted on social media that since they got rained out, they're having a redo. I'm picking up a friend and I can't wait to see what they've got. Remember the three C's, cash, crossbody handbag, and comfortable shoes. And this wreath behind me was from the same sale back in the spring for $2. What a deal. Let's get started and go find some amazing treasures. Let's see what this rain check garage sale is all about. This house definitely did not feature anything last time. There's a beautiful crystal candle holder. They only had one and I'm not very interested. This looks to be the McKee Glass Company Milk Glass Punch Bowl, perhaps in the Concord pattern. It's missing a pedestal, but wow. They had purchased glassware for their daughter's wedding and now they're selling everything for 25 cents each. That's cheaper than the dollar store. I don't really have a need for it, but really a great opportunity to do some glass painting too. I like these oversized salad plates. They would go well with any kind of patterned dishware to not compete with it, but to just accentuate it. I like the design. And those are the bread and butter plates. I picked up a few and my friend did as well. This is a candy dish and they were only 25 cents, but I really don't have a need for this. So I think I'll pass on it. And my friend got this box for $2 with the candle holders and the LED lights. Just the lights alone would cost way more than that. And these were $2 for each trio. And that's a really good deal and great for her. These caroling bells looked interesting for the holidays for outside decor. And the napkins, they had an abundance of them. They were only 25 cents each. These are polyester, easy care, but I really don't have a need for them. I have so many napkins. Pottery Barn, these were only a dollar each, battery operated lanterns. And the lady behind me was oh so happy that I set them down and she could pick them up. The Santa bag for a dollar, really happy with that. For an oversized gift, it's perfect. I'll just remove that tag and put a new one on. What a nice surprise. At this garage sale, they were offering a 1970 Jaguar in the primrose color. This is the original paint. It's a Roadster. And they were so eager to tell me all about it. I sure enjoyed learning about this vehicle. I really had no intention of spending $60,000 on a garage sale purchase, but glad to get to know this vehicle and more about its history and it's even won some awards that are included with the purchase. I'm sure beautiful people have sat in this car and traveled many miles. And those are their awards. Really nice. Let's see what else they have to offer. 60,000 is a bit too rich for my blood. I don't really need any artwork. Seems to be very manly garage sale. They were a lot heavier with the electronics and hardware, but they have a few pretty things too. That crystal bowl is really nice, both of them actually. And these white oblong servers, Pier 1 Imports, $18.95, I get both of those for $5. And the turtle looked interesting until I realized it was plastic. I think that's a back scratcher. I keep going back to this bowl. My friend was interested. It looks to be Mikasa. $2 is a steal. And this is a nice hanging to put in the window for $3. Pretty colors. Very nice. We didn't get it, but sure enjoyed looking through it. And these caught my eye, the porcelain candle holders. They look to be from England basket weave design around the edge. 
I really like these. And I was confused at first. And then my friend pointed out that it looks like those pieces fit inside, sort of like an epern. You could use them as a candle holder or on a tea table, wouldn't they be perfect for a single flower? And I did get them for $3 for the pair. And here are the electronics. These mean nothing to me, but I'm sure to someone you might find a bargain amongst them. The cigar boxes are neat. I've seen handbags made of these. And the men were smoking cigars too during the garage sale. And here's their pride and joy that they're letting go for 60,000, but I think I'll have to pass. Look at that license plate. That's really cool. Never expected to see that. Oh, I like the patriotic signs. Let's see what this garage sale has to offer. I see some artwork. I think they're afraid of rain, so they've kept everything inside, but we actually had pretty good weather. I see some shoes. Look at the fashion. She's merchandised it very well. Definitely eye-catching. This is a Paul Michael wreath, $30, and actually sold for $200 originally. Interesting artwork. Kind of like this, 50 is the new 25, twice. And the prices were really good on the artwork. Garage sale is a wonderful opportunity to add wall art to your home without breaking the bank. This lady had redecorated two years ago, she said, and had just stored everything and now she's letting it go since it no longer matches her decor. That's a new item for $5 little mercury style canister. You could put anything in it. You can tell that she had more of the heavier taste. Look at these shoes. I can't get over these. And as luck would have it, they're my size eight and a half. I was tempted, but I passed on the footwear. That wasn't my goal today. It's looking more for dishes and household items. Those are nice oversized glasses for $2. Seems a little bit high for garage sale price, but I guess if you're looking for that. Now we've moved on to a different neighborhood, that upscale garage sale, just there were only a handful of homes. And my eye caught this lemon collection. Someone apparently has had a lemonade stand and I certainly don't need anything for that. But when I'm offering a lemon dessert or setting up a dessert bar, that could be a nice, Edition. That's from Walmart. I got the lemon items for $2. When life gives you lemons, make a centerpiece. I love what it says, and I like the colors on that too. And I think I'm going to ask if she'll split up the set because I don't need all the other. But these ceramic lemons are kind of neat. I thought they would be salt and pepper shakers, but they're just for decor. They're from Target. And in my PTO hospitality days, this would have been perfect for serving snacks, but kind of out of that business. I see costume jewelry and Kendra Scott. Look at that. I really wish I would have looked at the Kendra more, but I think I was just dazzled by the blue. And my friend got this galvanized bucket with a rope design. It was March 15, but she negotiated a lower price and got it for $10, and it's great for serving drinks by the pool. That looks like it might have been from a wedding. That's a neat piece to put votives in. She had just a smattering of items, but her prices were really great, and I'm glad we stopped here. And Christmas, I like that, Frosty's hat. This wreath hanger for a dollar, yes, I think I'll take. This is kind of a neat thing, the ball jars that have been painted with the chalkboard paint. Good for centerpieces. And I did get these demi toss cups. They're made in China, it's nothing super valuable, but cute, and then these I wouldn't necessarily put inside, but it came with it, and I got them all for $2 for the trio. And for a dessert bar, you could definitely put a little sign with the name of the dessert using these rose potted pieces and that could be fun this i was really happy to get it's 
$18 from Hobby Lobby and I got it for a dollar. So that's a great holiday pick that you could put into an arrangement, just add to evergreens. I'm back from the garage sale and I wanted to show you all of the items. This looked like an impern at first, they were separate on the table. It could be a candle holder or a vase, perfect for the tea table. And I asked for a better price on these instead of $2 each, I got the pair for $3. And they also had two Pier 1 Import porcelain oblong platters. These have the original price on back, $18.95, and I got two for $5. They were very willing to work with me. This is the same um, house that was selling the Jaguar for $60,000. So I think they were more focused on that today. And this tray is very purposeful. I like to line trays with a monogram placemat, and that could be part of your beverage bar. These glass plates were 25 cents each. It was from a wedding collection that they had hosted for their daughter, and they, instead of renting, they purchased everything. So this was quite a deal. I got eight plates, 25 cents each. And the lemons are lots of fun. I like to feature something of interest in a dessert bar. And if I offer lemon squares or something with lemonade, wouldn't that be perfect? And the lemon sign still has the price tag from Pure One Imports, $10. And I got all of the lemon items for $2. Really happy with that. And these cute little dimmy toss. I got three of these for $2. And then I also have the little roses be sweet for a tea table. This is the grand prize today, a milk glass punch bowl set with 12 cups for $10 total. What a deal. You can do so much with this. It can even be a centerpiece. And then I picked up a few Christmas items. This is from Hobby Lobby $17.99 and I paid $1. What a deal. And then I got a large Santa bag. I could put gifts in and the wreath holder. This was only a dollar. So I picked up some fun things. There were only a handful of houses that were featuring any type of sale in this rain check garage sale weekend. I'm really happy with the items that I have. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with garage sale finds. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Beth. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips. Mm -hmm.